In this episode of SNG Explains, we will talk about the death of Yevgeny Prigozhin. Was the death of the Wagner Group head Yevgeny Prigozhin an accident? Or was he killed? The truth may never be known. But Russia's President Vladimir Putin has a black and white view on betrayal. Putin expressed his condolence to the families of the victims and said Prigozhin was quote, a talented person, unquote. He also commented that Prigozhin had, quote, made serious mistakes in life, unquote. The mutiny of Prigozhin and his aborted march on Moscow may have hurt Putin deeply. After all, Prigozhin's rise from chef to chief of the Wagner Group is directly credited to Putin. Any politician, if he wants to stay in power, uh, has to have a certain level of ruthlessness. Uh, and uh, when faced with particular situations, we'll have to go on, uh, uh, we'll have to make compromises, which may not, from a middle class point of view, be absolutely, you know, within the system of morality. Incidentally, others who turned on Putin met similar fates. General Sergei Surovikin, who was Russia's Air Force chief, disappeared after his links to the Wagner Group became known. There was a case of FSB defector Alexander Litvinenko, who died of polonium poisoning. Polonium is a highly radioactive element. Then there was Sergei Skripal, a double agent who survived an assassination attempt by Russian intelligence using the Novichok nerve agent. There are some mafiosi in Putin's establishment. That is. Point number one. Point number two is that, you know, in the 90s, uh, Russia resembled the United States of the Robin, robber baron era, robber baron capitalism era. And after Putin came to power in the 2000s, I think that act has been cleaned up a bit. And uh, I don't think the mafia as whatever it means uh, enjoys that kind of prominence anymore in the russian system uh, there is criminality there are organized groups but that is the same as it is everywhere in the world assassinations have been part of russia's turbulent history dating back to the czar's days and during the 70 odd years of communist rule Apparently, early communist leaders said assassinations helped consolidate their rule. Whether Putin ordered Prigozhin's death can be debated, but assassinations have been a fact of life in Russia. Stay tuned for more such topics on SNG Explains. We will be back with a new topic for you. Till then, keep watching Strat News Global. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.